Okay, today we're going to discuss the Hoffman Specialty 17C uh, thermostatic radiator trap. This is the current model of the 17C and I'll get to the discussion of the older models later. I'm going to start off the bat with um, I don't really like this trap very much. Um, it has several uh, what I consider fatal flaws. The first of which is the thermostatic element which is called a durastat has a very very small outlet so unless you are installing this on a radiator that tends to overheat or is a very small radiator this would not by any means be um, anything close to ideal and the other reason I do not like the design of this durastat vis-a-vis -vis the uh, 17 C is that it sits up very high in the trap as you can see the water is going to have to the water return is going to have to back up to nearly two-thirds before it starts draining and I've heard these things gurgle under normal circumstances so a lot of water starts backing up into this trap before it starts draining which I believe is uh, another thing uh, not to recommend it. The original version of this trap was probably designed sometime around the 1950s. This came out in the, in the, in the 1990s, I believe. If anybody knows any difference, please leave uh, comments below in the, sec, uh, sec, uh, in the comment sections below. This is the earlier version of the Hoffman 17C. And this was their the design that they uh, finally wound up with. They had a couple of designs of the thermostatic element um, harking back um, to uh, the eight, number eight, which we will, might discuss in a, in a uh, later video. But even though they're both called the 17C, they're remarkably different in their uh, height and you cannot install any old uh, Hoffman uh, 17 C's into the new Hoffman uh, 17 C. So this is essentially a different trap. They just call it a 17 C uh, for whatever reason. So let's get into how to turn this, how to rebuild this. The first thing you do, of course, is remove the cap. My recommendation is that you get a uh, inch and three eighths socket and take it off. Then, probably best getting a 7 16 inch wrench to remove the uh, thermostatic element. And one uh, disadvantage of this thermostatic element, which um, um, I'm hopefully you're not worn into, is this tends to break off, particularly on, on water hammer, and will seat the seat will fall into this. Uh, I mean, the, uh, this will fall into the seat and completely block any uh, water leaving and this radiator can the radiator that this is attached to could fill completely up with water so when you pop the cap you'll get a flood you ask me how I know that this has a uh, threaded hole to receive the uh, unit but this is discarded and you take a uh, three-quarter inch socket and you remove the old seat. Now you can go ahead and install a Durastat. Now the Durastat has a very clever device on here and it's stamped in that you can use the same three quarter inch socket to uh, install a Durastat uh, should you uh, so desire. But again, I would be very, very um, circumspect in um, using a Durastat. Um, according to some, the Durastat, uh, the, the Durastat name really is not that durable. I would recommend to um, increase the efficiency of this trap in getting rid of air and water to using the Barnes and Jones uh, capsule product. And in this particular one, you want to use the, uh, the 3500 um, series. The 
information is contained in their um, wonderful uh, trap repair guide. You can see here that if you have the 17C old style, you use the 3500 and you can then use the existing cap. If you have the 17C new style, you can use the 3500 capsule, but you must buy a new cap and I'll show you why. So this goes in place here, capsule goes on, take the old cap, and I would use anti-seize here, and again, before you put this capsule down, I'd make sure this surface is clean and free of any debris. I'd also put a little anti-seize on this, just a little schmear to help, um, so if you have to ever remove this to... Uh, check it you're not damaging that uh, that seal or leaving this gasket tends to stick to this over time and as soon as that comes apart you leave part of the gasket behind and it makes your uh, cleanup a little harder you put that on there and then I'd probably mark the cap to let somebody else know that you you've rebuilt it and the throughput on this is then reasonable according to um, those that have tested it. So in this case, if you want to use a capsule on this one, you take out the Durastat and you put in the, um, the 3500, but then you've got to use the Barnes and Jones cap, the 30, and there it is stamped on there. The, the advantage of using a cap is that it has a clear indicator that the trap has been rebuilt and you're, you're rebuilding the um, and it's a pretty tight, you really have to push down on that to make that work. And you want to use um, an inch and a half socket or, or wrench to uh, work that down. Again, I would put anti-seize on these threads. I'd put anti-seize on the uh, gasket and make sure that the um, mating surfaces of the old trap are clear, clear of debris. And then that would uh, that would produce a, a pretty good uh, 17C worthy of uh, worthy of the name. Now the 17C does come in different patterns. This is for the vertical uh, pattern, say for a um, a convector, hidden convector. Uh, it has the, this one has a uh, Durastat in it. And I have, it comes also in a very unusual pattern. I think this is the only trap that, that does it, is this swivel pattern. And this is the older style uh, 17C, but the new style 17C is also available in this pattern. And it's either a straightaway pattern, or if you loosen this, it can either be a left hand, excuse me, a right hand or a left hand outlet or anywhere in between, which makes it uh, really nice for the sometimes problematic uh, situations we have to put this in. But sometimes this is really a solution in search of a problem. Uh, be mindful that the uh, gaskets are the weak point and they can be easily damaged and you got to be very careful. I'd, again, I'd use a little anti-seize on this, a little anti-seize on that to um, to work this out. Don't go crazy with the anti-seize because you can contaminate the boiler. But this, a nice little pattern. The other thing that's available is a shorter um, spud. Um, the special order. There's the uh, part number if you need to order to get these things to fit if you really need to. It makes, makes the job go a little easier. Um, this is what you get. Um, in almost all cases you'll need a half inch uh, Allen or hex to uh, get the old old spud out and then um, put the new, new spud in to make this work. And so that should take care of that. The thread size on these 
is rather unusual. It's this is a a, a nine sixteenths by eighteen tap, and it's the nine sixteenths is just a little bit larger than the threads. It's eighteen threads to the inch, but they made some weird size to uh, on that very to try to. I don't know what the the, the exact thread dimension on it is. It's not metric um, because this has antecedents. I'll show you what I mean. It's a copy of the Hoffman data book from uh, 1934 and 306. This is the Hoffman 17A. And so this was the sort of antecedent of the Hoffman 17C. There was no Hoffman 17B as far as I know. And here, here it is in the flesh. Very, very similar to the um, old style Hoffman 17C. Um, the nut and spud are about the same. The uh, height is only an eighth of an inch difference, and the cap still comes off with an uh, inch and uh, three-eighths socket. Major differences are that the um, bellows is built into the cap. Here's what it looks like when you take the bellows off. It's, there's a solder joint there, and then you really have to destroy uh, this to uh, take that apart. And then you're, um, you you have two versions according to uh, the the data book. Um, you have one with a removable seat and one with an, an integral seat. The removable seat is a very unusual seat. You need a special tool, a, a drag link. This is a uh, fifteen sixteenths by uh, one eighth inch socket. Uh, half inch socket drive and it fits in these slots here and uh, you get this seat out and by gosh you could probably throw in a Durastat but I wouldn't um, and this is the same threads as the 17C that uh, weird not quite 9 sixteenths by uh, 18 18 inch thread, but you cannot use any of the old old units to fit this trap. A recommendation would be if you run into this thing to uh, leave the seat in place. Don't even bother. And then I would go with I don't know about the integral seat, but I know with this you can use a, um, a 3066 capsule. Again, Annie sees the gasket. Make sure that's nice and clean. This goes on here and then you're going to need a, a new cap for this. Uh, you cannot use the old cap unfortunately even if you rip out the uh, the unit. It doesn't fit very well. One of the problems I'm encountering in a lot of this stuff is this doesn't quite match up with some of the thread sizes. I've got a little Annie sees on there and you have to really crank down on this because it starts jamming up. Uh, the threads don't quite match up. But that's one way of rebuilding this uh, 17A, which is actually a fairly rare trap. I've only run into it once or twice out there in the, in the field so far. Uh, but you might get an area where these were all the rage. And um, that is, you probably have, some of you may have more uh, information on this than, than I do and if you do please um, give a uh, comment uh, leave a comment in the comments section and uh, hopefully this uh, video will um, uh, be helpful for you in dealing with the uh, 17C and I thank you very much